here in Fort Dunry, which is one of the treaty ports. And today is the eve of the Anglo-Irish treaty signing. You can see the remnants of what was formerly a British army encampment. All around the site here are a whole series of gun emplacements that had a capacity to shoot over 10 kilometers right across the lock. Anywhere across Loch Swilly could be protected within range of these, of these guns. So in Loch Swilly, they were able to moor the North Atlantic fleet there right through the First World War. Hello everybody, you're very, very welcome here to Fort Dunree. We're here for a very important event on this very special day. At about 10 past two in the morning, on the 6th of December, 1921, the Irish delegates and Lord George signed the Anglo-Irish Treaty, one of the most important events in modern Irish history. Sean has nicely given us a context around the history of the centenary of the Anglo-Irish Treaty signing. And really, this was the basis for this project and uh, working with over 60 people. People who design their own flags are going to have the opportunity to raise their flags um, above Fort Dunry as an act of citizenship. So if you imagine the space was originally about militarism and colonialism, the intervention today is to speak of what it looks like to live in a republic and to have citizens first.